Okay. Some milk or something? I'll be right nope. there with you next. Milk in the eyes. <laughs> All right, keep, keep it flowing, keep it flowing. I'll just come in and out. You gotta force it out. Hey everyone, so today I wanna to talk to you about what I think is the most effective non-lethal tool for self-defense and that is going to be OC spray or pepper spray and I'll also do a review on this one in particular this one is from Palm Industries very strong stuff so what is OC spray and pepper spray well it's essentially a self-defense tool that allows you to spray the active ingredients into an attacker's face that will then further blind them and cause them extreme discomfort why? Well, that's because the ingredients in here are derived from peppers, from the capsicum family. And if you're familiar with the term scoville, like uh, ghost chili peppers or Carolina reapers have extremely high scoville units of heat, like 1 million to 2 million, etc. This one right here has over 2 million scoville units. Now that sounds really impressive and hot and terrible. That's mostly used for marketing. It doesn't really determine how effective this is going to be. Even the 10% OC rating on this, this one has 10% OC as well. That's the oleo resin capsicum rating. That's also kind of, it doesn't really tell you how hot this is gonna be. What really determines how hot and effective these pepper sprays will be is their MC rating or major capsaicinoid rating. The capsaicinoids are basically the compounds found in the capsicum family that gives you that heat and that swelling of the mucous membranes in your eyes, nose, and mouth, etc. And it also will cause your, the veins in your eyes to swell, forcing your eyes shut and essentially making you temporarily blinded because you can't see through those eyes. So when you have a pepper spray, don't pay too much attention to the OC percentage. Like I said, both of these have a 10% OC percentage. And that sounds kind of cool, but it's, what does that really mean? It's not third party tested. It's not lab tested for effectiveness or heat. Same thing with the scovile units, the scovile heat units, SHU. That doesn't really mean too much. When looking at pepper spray to determine how effective it is, look at the percentage of capsaicinoids in there, okay? For example, capsaicinoids in this one is 0.66%. That's not super high. This is the one I used to carry, but I upgraded to this palm one right here. Now this palm max strength guy right here, this one has 1.4% capsaicinoids. That's more than double this guy right here. And the capsaicinoids is what is measured in a lab. It's determined for its effectiveness, and that is what's gonna cause the infl inflammatory properties to your mucous membranes and swell the veins in your eyes. The, that's what you wanna look for, okay? So anywhere from 1.2 to 1.4% capsaicinoids, or sometimes it's just MC, major capsaicin capsaicinoids abbreviated, that is what's gonna cause all those effects that you want in a good pepper spray. Like this one, it just says capsaicinoids, 0.66%, whereas other pepper sprays might just say the M MC rating, major capsaicinoid rating, etc. Most bear sprays, you know, the sprays to defend against bears, they're usually around 1.4% and above for capsaicinoids. So this one right here already has more than double this one. This one's gonna be a lot more effective. So. Pepper sprays, pay attention to the capsaicinoid percentage, not the OC percentage or the scoval units. Those don't really mean anything. It is the capsaicinoid rating that matters. Okay, so why use OC spray or pepper spray? Well, it's essentially a small tool. It's really easy to carry, inexpensive, and easy to use, but most importantly, it's very effective. It will give you the ability to essentially blind someone who's being a threat to you and cause them discomfort, giving you the chance to either run away, get out of that danger zone, or after you spray them, it just gives you the, that advantage to either restrain them if you have to, until the cops arrive, or if they're still being an active threat trying to hurt you, after you spray them, they're still gonna be hindered. You can jack them up even easier, and yeah, it just makes things a lot easier for you. There's some people out there that, uh, might be smaller or weaker, not have the skills, this is gonna give you that edge, okay? And there's times where 
maybe let's say you carry a pistol, you're a concealed uh, pistol license carrier or CPL, CCW, whatever. There's a lot of opportunities that may happen where a pistol may not be the best choice to use in a defensive encounter or situation. Same thing with your hands. Like why even risk getting into a physical altercation with someone to defend yourself when you could use something less lethal and really effective, spray them and get out of there, you know? But what if there was a guy that's just way, way bigger than you? No matter how strong you are, there's always someone stronger. So what if there was a guy that's just gigantic and you'd rather, you know what, I don't want to fight you. I'd rather not get into a physical altercation with you. So this gives you that edge. Or maybe there's multiple attackers and you're not feeling like you could handle yourself with your hands. Or maybe a gun isn't the appropriate option at that time, depending on the situation. This is a great option for multiple attackers that are trying to hurt you. And even animals. Animals is another thing. This has been used to defend against dogs, bears, etc. I mean, this stuff can work. And maybe even knife wielders, okay? Like if you don't have a gun on you, if you don't carry guns legally, and if there was ever a time where you were encountered by a knife wielder, having this still gives you an advantage over just your hands. You know, I would not want to fight someone if they had a knife and I just had my hands. I would if I had to, but if I had the option to use an OC spray to limit their vision, to give me a chance to get out of there, I would do that, you know? Not just knives either. What if the bad guy was carrying a baseball bat or brass knuckles or any kind of tool that gives them an advantage? Well, this will give you an advantage, especially because it also gives you some range. This thing can shoot up further than 10 feet. You don't have to do it super up close if you don't want to, or if you have the opportunity to engage the person at a distance, that's what I would recommend. And you could do you know, a quick burst across the face, or you could do a continuous burst, a continuous spray, and you could potentially stop that threat right there. Okay. And if you do carry pistols legally, you're a concealed pistol carrier, good for you. But also, if you don't carry a non-lethal tool, then I would recommend that you should because there's levels to everything, you know? There are some situations where your hands might not be enough to stop a threat, but your pistol still isn't appropriate either, depending on the situation. Obviously, there's situations where your, your pistol would be perfectly legal and ethically, morally good to use, but there's times where maybe not, you know? There's so much gray and things can go from zero to 100 in split seconds. You want to make sure that you protect yourself, but also don't jack yourself up, legally speaking, if you use the wrong tool for that level of use of force. Whereas this thing is a non-lethal tool. You're not going to kill anyone by just spraying this in their face. Unless they're blinded and they're running into traffic or something like that. But generally speaking, this is, is non-lethal. It's going to be extremely discomforting. It's going to be blinding for a bit, but after about 30 minutes to maybe an hour, they'll start recovering and, you know, it is what it is. This will give you that chance to spray someone that's a threat to you and get out of there. What are some considerations for using this thing? Well, for outside use especially, be cognizant of the wind, okay? Especially if you're in a defensive situation, you want to be aware of the wind, especially if it's also really windy. You don't want to be downwind. Let's say an attacker's coming at me and I want to spray him, but I'm also downwind. If I spray him, that wind's probably going to spray me as well. So, if possible, move off center, off the line of where the wind is blowing, spray that individual, get away from downwind, and you won't get jacked up, hopefully. Now, I mean, you can use these inside as well, so you're not always going to be in a windy situation, but it's just something to be aware of, okay? Another thing, too, is you've seen a lot of images and videos and stuff of people holding the pepper spray like this, they'll use their pointer finger to manipulate the button. I would not recommend that. I would use your thumb, okay? Get a firm grip, like a hammer grip on this thing. Use your strong opposable thumb to do all the control for you, okay? You can lift the cover and push the button. Whereas this is kind of more uncomfortable and you just don't have as much control with this pointer finger, okay? You don't want to be this guy. No, you don't want to do that. You want to use your thumb, okay? Thumb is a lot stronger and easier to use. Um, also, if kind of like I was talking about earlier, 
if a person's running at you, whatever, trying to hurt you, not just the wind you want to worry about, but also just the fact that they're coming at you in a straight line, after you spray them, try to move off center line. Because once they get hit and they get that pain and they can't see anything, if they're still coming at you, even if they're blind, if they still grab you, you know, they can still harm you. Whereas if, after you spray them, if you move off center and you're maybe running a circle around them or whatever, that's giving you time for that to kick in. They can't see and they don't know where you are. Okay, so someone's coming at you, you spray them, try to move at different angles, run circles around them, whatever, get out of there. But don't be in that straight line for them to have the opportunity to still grab you if they're running towards you, their momentum is carrying them forward. Okay, another consideration too, similar to pistols, a safety consideration, you know, for gun owners and gun users, we have to know our backstop, what is beyond our target if we're going to engage in a deadly threat, shooting, etc. So, what that means is, if I had to shoot someone with my gun to defend myself, I still have to be responsible and know what's behind that individual. I'm not going to shoot some guy in the fence if there's a school behind him, for example, okay? So I would move off, I would change my angle, whatever, to shoot that would have a safe backstop, that wouldn't hurt anyone. Same thing with pepper spray. You got to know what's beyond your target or behind them in that media area. That way you don't accidentally spray an innocent bystander or, you know, a child, whatever. So know what's beyond your target as well in that immediate area. One last little tip is when you're spraying, don't just hold in one spot, static. Have some dynamic movement in there, okay? Whether you're doing a cross to hit the nose and mouth, cross and then horizontal to hit the eyes. This is recommended oftentimes. Or you could do little circles if you wanted to, but don't just sit there in one spot because you want to use as much movement as you can while you're spraying like this to really ensure that you hit all those really, really sensitive organs in the face where all your senses come from, essentially. So that could increase your chances of stopping that threat. All right, so next, I'm going to have a demonstration for you. Um, my buddy, one of my best friends from the military, he gets pepper sprayed, and so do I. And in, what you'll see in both of these videos is for his situation, my wife, who was the victim, when she sprays him, she does a quick burst, because I told her to. She does a quick burst, and it hits his left eye mostly, okay? And it also hits his ear and like the rest of his face a bit, but it doesn't hit both eyes a lot. It's a quick burst that hits his left eye, and you'll see how effective that is in the video. And then for me, I wanted her to do more of a continuous spray and really hit both of my eyes. That's, that's going to give you based with comparison, and you can see how effective it is. And in a defensive situation, one quick spray may be all that's needed to stop someone. But if there's still a threat and they're still coming at you, there's no rules against continuing to spray until the threat is stopped. Same kind of thing with defensive shooting. I'm not going to necessarily shoot one person one time if they're still swinging a knife at me or if they're still shooting. They're supposed to shoot to stop the threat. Okay? So... Same kind of thing applies here. You can do a quick spray if you want to, or a continuous spray if you think that's needed, or until you hit both eyes and they're completely encapsulated with this really potent ingredient, okay? And once that hits both eyes, especially, it's going to force your eyes shut because it's going to swell those veins in your eyes. You're going to see in my video that I had to physically like grab my eyelids and almost pry them open because I could not voluntarily open my eyelids. It was pretty bad okay so i'll let you guys check those out and i'll get back to you after that uh this is scenario one this is a sexual assault i'm gonna try and take this woman and kidnap her all right here we go hey hey get in my van no hey. no no hey, no get no <laughs> They got my. They got this eye really good. Ooh. All right, here's some water All for right. you. Hold on, we're good. We're good. No, get it off. What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> 
Soap me. Someone get the baby. Soap me, baby, quick. That shit is up. Yeah, I soap, didn't soap. open it. Yeah, that's a lot of soap. <laughs> you can just pour it over his head, Nathan. Huh? Pour it over his head. <laughs> Brandy, I love you. <laughs> this shit sucks. I'm gonna bleep out this swear word. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> this bleep sucks. You got a tower when you're ready for it. I think it worked pretty good. What do you oh, think, Chad? Man. Yeah, that's super effective. <laughs> oh, my left eye. I had to run a while. I know. It takes about me. it takes about a ten <laughs> second on set for it to work. Show this first. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to open my. Eye. Push him. Push him. Oh, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta get right. it out. I'm not trying to cuss. You gotta get it out. You just gotta keep water until yeah. you're good to go. Yeah, you lean into it. Force them open. Force them open. Force them open. Force them open. <coughs> you gotta get the oil out. Force them open. Force them open. Okay. Some milk or something? I'll be right nope. there with you next. Milk in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, keep keep it flowing. Keep it flowing. I'll just come in and out. Yeah, you gotta force it out. More soap. More soap. More soap. soap. It's coming, hold on. Yeah, I'm not raping anybody. <laughs> Jesus. In your hands, in your hands. Alright, All right. keep it loaded. Sex or stop. <laughs> you did great, Chad. It's really <laughs> And that sucks. Where, where did it that hit sucks. you on your face, Chad? Right in the eye? Like all oh, right there? All across right here. <laughs> <laughs> so my right eye is mostly good. I tried so hard to get Keep right in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Try to avoid the mouth. <laughs> yeah, the second it goes into your throat, though, you're done. Oh gosh. Oh, oh man, like I was good. You need a drink? No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> I can barely handle medium salsa, so I don't know how I'm gonna handle this. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I was running after her and I was okay. But the second we got to the trampoline, I like inhaled really hard. <laughs> I was done. All right, so I'm gonna voice over for this part because one of my neighbor's dogs was extremely loud and was howling and you couldn't hear what I was saying right here. So, basically I'm just explaining that this demonstration for my um, example of getting sprayed, it's at a farther distance and it'll showcase how your pepper spray gives you some range and distance to use. You don't have to do it super up close necessarily. And I also wanted my wife to do a continuous spray as opposed to just a quick burst. She's going to continuously hold it as she's spraying to have a greater effect on my eyes. And also she's going to run off the center line when, she, when I get close to her. So I'll run right here. She's spraying and then she's going to go off center so I can't find her. She's going to continue to juke. I can't see. I'm blinking right now to really work it in my eyes, and I'm essentially dying. I feel like my eyes are melting in my head right now, and I can't see anything. Give us a second. Give us a second. Oh. That's as far as it goes. Come on. Yeah, I got soap. I got soap. Put it on your hand. Put it on your face. Let's go. <coughs> yeah, that's <right>. Oh, oh. <coughs> Yep, that works. Somebody grab the soap bottle. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot see anything. Go right away. Take your hands out. I got soap. Okay, got you. There you go. Slip it over my head. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Oh, man. Got it? Yeah. You want? Hmm. Hmm. You alright? Yeah, it works. Alright, it's up high. You 
want to put your face in it. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, that was uh. <laughs> the direct spray is horrible. <laughs> she got both eyes. Oh yeah. <laughs> it feels awful. You're sticking in there, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I'll hold it for you. No, you don't get any on you. There you go. Put it on your face. Hold your hand out. Pick up that hand. There we go. Do it up. <laughs> Definitely recommend. It works a lot. 10 out of 10. Pretty much as soon as I uh, got sprayed and started blinking, I was done. And hold it out. Get more. There you go. There you go. Can you go up your nose? No, it's all high. Okay. Pure eyes and lips. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's <laughs> not everywhere. <laughs> it's a little. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Here, yeah, more soap. Do it with the soap. That was the best thing worked for me. Open your eyes with the soap in there. I know that sounds counterproductive, but it works. You just gotta keep rinsing. Yeah, it's not as bad now. Like it sucks, but definitely can't see anything. Pretty much, as soon as that water is off, it's burning right away. Yeah. You want to hold it now? Yeah. So you can spray yourself? Here. I'm going to get the top of your head again. Get all that, all that, eyes, beard, get all that. Oh, that's what I get you, dude. All right, so that absolutely was horrible when I got sprayed. One of the reasons why I wanted to get sprayed was because it gave me the, the realistic feel of what it would feel like if I did that to someone else. Like now I truly understand exactly how this would work or potentially feel on an attacker or someone else. Don't feel like you have to get sprayed just so you know what it's like. No, you don't have to. I want to just because that's how I was trained. In the military, I got tased through taser training because I want to know exactly what it feels like because I might be tasing someone else someday. Kind of the reason why I want to get pepper spray, but also to give you guys a real example of what it looks like, how effective it is, and maybe maybe it was entertaining for you, so that's a plus. This one in particular, I'd highly recommend. This one's from Palm Industries. Very strong, 1.4 major capsaicinoid rating or percentage. This has a nice sleek design. It doesn't have any exposed canister or container like this one does. This whole thing is exposed, which I don't really like. And it also has a better cover for the button. This one is really exposed. It could potentially act accidentally get engaged because it's so open. Or this one's a lot more enclosed. And this one's a, a slightly a bit taller, so it's possibly more comfortable for people that have bigger hands. And you can also choose the colors you want for this whole thing on their website. You can choose whatever color you want, which is kind of cute. And yeah, biggest thing is it's a lot stronger. It's more than twice as strong as this one more effective and definitely jacked me up. My eyes were forced shut. I had to use my fingers, like I said earlier, to pry them open because it was just all my mucous membranes and veins were swollen in my eyes and I could not do anything. And one last thing to consider is if you use this on a bad guy or whatever, he's not going to have water and baby shampoo right there to help wash all this stuff off. You know, he's going to be hurting for a bit. So that gives you a lot of time to get out of there, you know. But that's all I have today. I hope that uh, this was educational and hopefully entertaining. If you don't carry some of this stuff, maybe you should. 
regardless if you're man, woman, big, small, strong, skill, whatever, I still recommend carrying it if you don't. But all right, guys. Hope you learned something. Take care. Stay safe. Bye bye. We're gonna go to the movies. Sounds good. Hey, helper. Hey.